Hi, Robin Schick here, running for mayor of the town of Colonial Beach. I just want to take a minute and uh, respond to some of the political accusations that came out in a letter from uh, Mike Fitzpatrick today to possibly your mailbox. Um, he states that we have a lot of problems with our infrastructure and that we must do a lot of things to fix it and that's true but this town council has actually prioritized that in a pretty big way and we are mapping our infrastructure right now which is the first step something that i've been working on and advocating for for almost a decade in order to finally get here um, these things don't happen fast and the solutions aren't quick fixes we need to see what the major infrastructure problems are where they're at and then we can engineer the solutions for them. That's why I'm on the RAF team, and the RAF team is helping us to engineer uh, multiple sites in the next year about how to deal with the stormwater issue, and that's a free service that these universities are providing engineering for, and that's really important, and a lot of things are being done about that, and a lot of money is being spent there. Almost no public money gets spent on beautification. And I don't know if enough people understand that. Uh, almost all beautification efforts come from grants and not from public tax dollars, um, not from our local dollars at least. And we have to work really hard to apply for those grants and to get them and to succeed with them. And it's the only way to get those things done. Um, because we have to spend so much money on infrastructure, that is why you have to create partnerships in the county and in the Northern Neck and with our state level agencies, which is something that I have a lot of experience with when I worked in the revitalization of Warsaw and Calio. And they are dealing with a lot of stormwater issues there and those same contacts are people that we're working with and will be working with to get the things done here. So um, my experience is, is pretty high in, in that. I don't know that he has any town experience in dealing with infrastructure. Um, the affordable housing issue is a term that is misconstrued a lot of times and uh, seems to be the case again here, is affordable housing is based on how much money you're putting aside in order to live in your home. And so Colonial Beach has an economy level based on our jobs that are local. And we need people like our teachers and our police and the people that work for our town to be able to afford to live in Colonial Beach. And so I think that it gets confused with subsidized housing and that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about having a cost of living that is affordable to you and your family. And that is important because I want you to have a good quality of life. And if you can afford to live in the house that you live in, then you can also afford to have a good quality of life. And so those are things that are important to a community. And it's a positive term, not a negative term. And I think that that's really antiquated to uh, put that uh, affordable housing term in there in that way. And to uh, associate it with police problems, um, if you can afford your house and you can afford to have a good quality of life, I, I don't think you put a burden on the police. Um, some other things in here, I work very well with our county supervisor, Tim Trivet and I have worked well for a long time together. When he was on the school board, we worked together on school issues. When, now that he's in the county, I support him and I am um, happy to work with the county. I work with the county on many levels, which is great. And I think that we are strengthening our relationship there. And a local can do that. Since I'm from here, I know a lot of those people in the county office and I have a good relationship with them. And I talk to them and that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Um, the playground on Eleanor, which he can't seem to get off of, is about creating places and things to do in this town for our kids, for our families, for multi-generations. It is not the end, it is the beginning. It is about having stuff to do in town um, that crosses generations and using our public spaces to provide that. And I think we can do that in multiple places and the North End definitely needs a park and that is high on my priority list. Um, I also think I should address that um, there's a lot of things that he doesn't say how we're gonna pay for them and knowing our budget ins and out of our budget and how we're gonna get there is very important and something that I have taken a lot of time and diligence in my time as vice mayor to do. And that that is something that you can't just step into, that it has taken experience over the last 10 years to work on those things. Um, when he was on the planning commission, he was absent a lot. And so even though he did serve for a lot of terms, if you go back and look, at the record there um, he was absent 
about 40% of his first two years. And then when he was chair, he was absent for the first three months of being chair. So um, I'm here, I live here, I'm from here. I have invested myself here. I am a business owner, I have business acumen, and I know the business needs of our community because my parents are business owners and I come from small business here in Colonial Beach. You really can't get any more Colonial Beach than Robin Chick. So um, that's what I represent. That's what I'm here. Colonial Beach first.